guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely, and today we're going to be making some Christmas themed charcuterie boards or cheese boards if you have a hard time saying that word. No judgment because it took me a while. Today, I'm going to be sharing two boards with you guys, a big one with meat and cheese and a smaller dessert one. Either one is gonna be great for Christmas, great for entertaining if you have a big family that you're gonna be with this holiday season. And if you're doing something a little bit more socially distant and just like the people that live in your house or maybe there's just one or two of you in your house, then I have a smaller board for you too. Sit back, relax, you're about to learn everything you need to know about how to make a cheese board on a budget. If you're new here, my name is Keely. I'm a mom of two, I work full time, I'm married, and I like to make videos on YouTube about home decor, holidays, charcuterie boards, and anything that you guys really wanna see, but mostly it's a lot of lifestyle stuff and fun tips and tricks for realistic moms who also work and are also busy AF like I am. If that sounds like something you might be into, then hit the subscribe button, and if you're an OG and you've been here a while, then hello, nice to see you again. I love you guys. Special shout out to those of you. In this video, you're gonna learn everything you need to know about how to make a charcuterie board and how to do it yourself. Maybe you've never done it. Maybe you're looking up to sharpen up your skills a little bit Maybe you just like to watch people put cheese on a board. Hey, whatever you're into this is the video for you We're gonna be going into the store I'm gonna be showing you guys what I like to get at the store where I like to shop all of the like little tips and tricks For being in the store and what to look for and then we're gonna be coming home I'm gonna make my boards with you and then I'm gonna share everything that's on them So if you have any questions put them down below but buckle up because we're headed to the store right now so my favorite store to shop at for items for your cheese boards is definitely Aldi. Aldi's actually a discount grocery store and has really, really great prices. But if you don't have an Aldi, you can definitely still make a cheese board because Walmart has great options and prices as well. When I go in the store, I always start at the produce. Things like grapes, berries, and pomegranate look great on a board. And one of my favorite meats to put on a board is salami. It's low in price and it looks really, really good. You can even get it cut at the deli counter if you don't have packs like this. When it comes to cheese, I usually pick three to four different kinds and textures, some soft and spreadable and some hard and lots of different colors and flavors. You don't have to know a ton about cheese, just pick a variety and don't be afraid to try something new. find lots of fun extras to put on your board like spreads and dips, chocolates and nuts, dried fruit, cookies, and crackers. It's really up to you what you like and what kind of vibe you're going for. At Christmas, I really like to add some fun festive candies on there as well as holiday flavors like gingerbread and peppermint. showing you guys the process of making the boards. So I film myself making these boards, I'm gonna put some voiceover to it, give you guys some tips for what to do while you're making the board, some ideas on how to transport the boards, and everything that you need to know to just put it all together. I don't know what it is about taking out a board or a plate, a big old platter or something and just slapping some cheese on there, but suddenly you just feel superior to every other meat and cheese tray you've ever seen in your life and I can help you get there. There, It is not hard, this is so easy and all you gotta do is keep watching and I'll show you how, so let's go. When I first start putting together a big board, I always try to assemble all my items so I know what I'm working with and I don't have to keep running back and forth to the kitchen. 
Then I start by placing the biggest cheeses and items and fill in from there. For this board, I'm starting with brie and then adding some grapes. Next, I'll be placing some more cheeses. So for this board, I'm using a cheddar cheese that's shaped like Santa, which is super cute, and a cranberry white cheddar. I love the ideas of cranberries in white cheddar because the cranberry is such a fun and Christmassy flavor. So obviously making cheese boards is totally subjective and you can honestly put whatever you want on them that works for you. That's the awesome part about making a board. You can be creative and tailor it to exactly what you or whoever is eating it likes. I like to put a mix of salty and sweet on my boards, so this one's actually gonna have some sweet Christmassy flavors like chocolate and peppermint, as well as savory stuff like cheeses and meats. A great tip for making boards look full and interesting is to make sure you have things at different heights. For salami, I like to fold it to give it some height and vibrance. Plus, it gives it a really cool texture that you won't find anywhere else on the board. When I use this size salami, I fold it in half twice and then stand it up. It's easy to put a lot in a little area and it looks really nice when it's all pushed together. Layering is really important on a board, so you have to have enough food on there for everyone and you don't want holes. The idea is to cover up every part of the board. I also find that having some cut cheese on a board is really helpful. People always grab for that first, so make sure to cut up some of your cheeses to make it easy for people to grab just a little bit at a time. One of the main things I get asked is how to transport boards. My biggest advice is to put things that won't move on the outside of the board. I find that cheeses and salamis and meats stick to the board so they don't move as easily. When I transport boards for a client or when I'm going more than a few minutes away, I always wrap tin foil around the edges to make a little fence. Then I cover it with plastic wrap. It kind of creates like a little dome for the board so nothing gets messed up. Also keep in mind when you're moving a board in your car, you have to drive very, very slow. Small berries, nuts, and dried fruit are great for the final layer of the board. They help fill in all the holes and you can use the same item multiple places to kind of tie everything together. For this board, you can see that I'm using blackberries to do this.
I also added some fancy candy on this board for a final pop of holiday fun. These little chocolates remind me of Christmas ornaments. And then last but not least is rosemary and some cranberries. I love rosemary at the holidays. It reminds me of little Christmas trees or garland. It's like the same sort of texture. I'm also going to be putting some jelly on the top of the brie. Brie is best to pair with something sweet like a jelly or a jam, and a spread on top is the perfect way to do it. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell, a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. Climb down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day For the next Board, this one is going to be more sweet and it would be perfect for Christmas Eve or for kids. After all, what kid doesn't love cookies and candy at Christmas time? I'll be going over every ingredient at the end of this board, so if you have any questions, just hang on for that. Snowflakes as they're falling down and follow Rudolph fall across the town. Play it with me under the mistletoe while Santa's busy saying ho ho ho. Around the holidays, I like to make multiple boards, so I do have some of the same ingredients on both of these boards. Honestly, that's a good way to save some money if you have multiple events. And boards are great for any time, so if you have leftovers, it's fun to throw a little board together for a movie night or a date night in. mostly desserts and I think it would be perfect for Christmas Eve. I actually think any kind of charcuterie board would be perfect for Christmas Eve but especially this one because it's like sweets and Christmas cookies and I don't know I just feel like it would be the perfect Christmas Eve board. I want to go over everything on here with you guys and just kind of show you what it all is and where it all came from. The majority of it came from Aldi but I got a couple things from Walmart so I'm just gonna share that with you guys. So we're gonna start over here. This is just plain vanilla frosting. Super simple, super easy. The little cup came from Christmas tree shops, but you could use any kind of little cup you have in your house. I just put some sprinkles on it and it's literally just vanilla frosting. These little guys came from Aldi. Marshmallows from Aldi. These are little gingerbread cookies, also from Aldi. Um, little pretzels from Aldi. Twizzlers from Aldi. And these are Frero Rocher, I don't know how to say that. You know what I'm talking about. Those little things. <laughs> Frero Rochers or whatever. 
Um, these I also picked up at Aldi. They have those there in that one aisle full of all the things that you want in life. Then the rosemary is on here. I love putting rosemary on boards at Christmas. I just feel like it looks like Christmas trees or something. Like it just is so cute and gives it a little bit more dynamic and just another layer of like cuteness. So that actually came from my garden. I grow rosemary out in my garden outside my window. If you see, there's my rosemary and the rest of my garden is dead, but there's the rosemary still alive and kicking. Thank God for that. So these actually are from Target. It's the only thing on here from Target, but that's where I picked these up at. I see really cute shaped marshmallows all kinds of places, but I feel like they go really fast. You gotta pick them up when you can, but I've been saving these actually. I got them forever ago and I've been saving them for this board, but I just love that. I just think it's a cute little touch. I've seen marshmallows shaped like snowflakes and in different words and like little houses and so many different things. So if you see them, snag them because you need them. The cranberries are from Aldi. I just put those on there to kind of fill in. The biggest tip I have about making boards is to make sure you fill in everywhere. The It needs to all be touching in some way to make it seem really full and extravagant. So this little snowman cup is from Walmart. I've had him since last year. These are little chocolate lollipops from Aldi. I got those in a huge pack. This little guy, actually, his little arm is broken, but I stuck him in here. He's supposed to like hang on the side of um, a mug, but I stuck him in here because his arm's broken, but he came from Fresh Market. Uh, I never go to Fresh Market because everything's like $450 there, but I just saw them and I couldn't resist it even though he was probably like $1.49. Then we've got another little candy hiding in here. These are Oreos. I got those from Aldi too, but obviously you can pick up the winter Oreos at Walmart or anywhere like that. Then we've got some grapes from Aldi. These are chocolate covered Oreos with like um, peppermint on them. These and these came from Walmart. So they're in like that, oh boy, I just lost an Oreo. <laughs> so these actually came from the very beginning of all Walmart, like when you first walk in and they have all their like holiday baked goods and stuff, those were in that section. Um, there's some little tiny peanut butter cups on here, but obviously you could replace, if you only have Aldi or whatever, you could obviously replace these with anything that you find, any kind of cookie, just you want something like a little bit whimsical and festive to give it difference and you want things to be like different colors, but all in like the same color scheme. And Christmas is really easy for that because it's like red, white, and green. You can't really mess that up and everything at this time of year comes with that color. So. That's what's on this board. The board itself is something my mother-in-law gave to me. It's from Italy, but uh, you could obviously pick up any kind of board to put this on. Walmart has some really cute, really large ones for like $15. I get a lot of mine from TJ Maxx. You can even make your own by going to Lowe's and buying a circle cutout of wood and you can stain it any color you want. There's so many options for boards and it's getting so much easier to find because these are so popular now. So. That is this board, and I just really like the way it turned out. Like I said, I think it'd be great for like Christmas Eve or set, like a dessert with um, some, some of your kids or some family, whoever you have around for the holidays this year. So let me know what you think down below. All right, guys, well, that is my two boards for this Christmas season. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you're new here, then please subscribe if you really like this video. And always, you can go follow me on Instagram and TikTok, where I'm also always sharing cheese board stuff, holiday stuff, kind of the same kind of content I share on YouTube. I share on Instagram and TikTok as well and I'd love to have you guys over there so please check this out I'll leave the links down below let me know down below which board you like best and which one would suit your Christmas this year and I will see you guys in my next video the next video I have coming out right now is going to be a wrapping Christmas presents video with me it's gonna be realistic wrapping me showing you guys everything that I use to wrap and what I buy and then also what I got my kids for Christmas will also be in that video so I'm excited to share that with you guys it's coming up quick Christmas is almost here y'all and if you make a board I just want to throw out there make sure you tag me I love to see y'all's creations I love to see you guys like what you buy and put on your boards because there's so much fun in creating it and it can be such a cool creative outlet so I'm looking forward to seeing those so let me know all right guys I'll see you next time bye